and elections for Jubilee Party's interim officials in Embu County ended in disarray after supporters of elected leaders engaged in a scuffle over the list of aspiring officials. Governor Martin Wambora, Runyanjas MP Sicily Mbarire and Manyata MP John Mushiri and a host of other aspirants accused Senator Lenny Kivuti of sneaking in a list of fake aspirants to unfairly tilt the poll to his favor. Supporters of the leaders in exchanged blows and kicks through chairs at each other uh, due to the anomaly that was partly blamed on Jubilee Party representatives conducting the exercise. Governor Wambora, Barire and Moshiri dismissed the kills as inconsequential to the elections and said they had built consensus on a list from Manyata, Runyanjas and Bere South constituencies. <laughs> Decided we go by the decision of the leaders, members of parliament, MCAs, and uh, opinion leaders, and uh, uh, the, the aspirants. We had a very, very critical meeting last uh, yesterday after Jamhuri, and we agreed unanimously on the EMBU solution, and that's the one we are following. We are very clear that we used an, an election through consensus and consultation, a solution that is workable for Embu. And so we are not repeating our elections, and we want to say whoever has been sent from JP headquarters is compromised. Compromise. Well, quite chaotic turn of events in Embu. Uh, let's uh, speak to my colleague Tim Karaoke. He is a standard uh, reporter joining us from Embu. Thank you so much for joining us, Tim. So first things first, do we have a clear list of the interim officials as for now? Uh, thank you very much, Betty. As for now, yesterday, after the chaos at Kangaro High School, Boys High School in Embu, the leaders uh, led by the Indian member of parliament, Sisi Malive, and Governor Martin Gombora, and a host of other aspirants, uh, they met at a hotel in Embu at night where they agreed on a list in the absence of uh, Senator Lenny Kivuti. That's obviously not the correct way to go about that. So what is uh, Do we have uh, a response or some reaction from Lenny Kivuti as per now? Yeah, definitely. Lenny Kivuti has uh, dismissed the list uh, and said uh, that uh, the process was not all inclusive because uh, the issue was supposed to be agreed upon at, uh, at, the, at Kangaroo School, where all the leaders and aspirants were supposed to bring in their input and uh, bring all the aspirants together to be able to vote and agree on a list that uh, can be agreeable to all the leaders. All right, Tim, let's, uh, let's just go back to the basics for a moment. So where did this uh, issue uh, come, come in? Where is the conflict, um, you know, in this situation? Uh, according to the Jubilee Party official, Abraham mm -hmm. Limo, who had been sent to oversee the elections in Embu, aspirants uh, and uh, elected leaders were supposed to vote on the membership of the, on the, of the leaders, but uh, they disagreed when it emerged that uh, Senator Lindy Kibuti had brought in a fake aspirant to be mm. able to vote and sway the election to his uh, favor. But uh, leaders uh, led by Mbarire, Wambora, and other aspirants disagreed and said that uh, the fake aspirant will not be allowed to vote. This is where the chaos started, and leaders and their supporters started engaging, engaging in a war of words and uh, their support has started taking. All right, finally, is there any likelihood that this process uh, will be repeated? Yeah, uh, I don't think so, Betty, because uh, already as we are speaking, supporters uh, and the leaders uh, led by Wambora and Barida are on the way to Nairobi to bring the list 
that they have agreed to the Jubilee Party headquarters. So, and they have already said that they will agree to a repetition of the exercise. All right. Thank you very much, Tim Karaoke. He's joining us from Embu uh, County, just uh, giving us an update of uh, the uh, interim uh, Jubilee's. Uh